Happy graduation, Moses. Happy graduation, Moses. I promise you we won't sing. Yeah, we aren't very good at that, but we just wanted to bless you today on your graduation and tell you how much we love and appreciate your family and we've missed seeing you these last couple years but we get good updates and yeah. I know you're maturing and growing and doing all sorts of things in Taiwan that um, your parents keep us updated but um, just just today I was uh, just praying about some way to bless you and um, it's probably something other people have said but it's not an accident that your parents gave you the name Moses and he's I think just one of my favorite um, people that I've read about in the Bible mostly because what he accomplished in his lifetime was a relationship with God that um, was face to face and that's something that um, today I just want to pray that you'll have that kind of fellowship that you'll have an intimacy with him and go deep in God and and never get uh, professional in your ministry but always keep focused mm -hmm. on the person of Jesus the emotions of Jesus his great love for you and that Moses means drawn out or of, of the water and um, that you were drawn out and set apart for a really specific purpose and it's just going to be fun to watch you grow and come into what that is. And I've always, um, I also kind of felt that there was something in you that's steady and steadfast and doesn't go quickly, but just takes your time and and ponders things and doesn't. And you have a, a wisdom beyond your years. You don't just jump to conclusions, but you weigh things and hold them before the Lord. And that that's a real gift that God's given you. So anyway. John might have something yeah. to say, too. So, Moses, while I was um, praying about what we were supposed to say, I didn't want to just say something clever or, you know, some pat kind of religious thing to make you feel good. But I, I, I got, you know, I just kept hearing the words humility and strength, humility and strength. Mm -hmm. And um, I just felt like uh, part of it, I don't know how this all connects, but I'll give it to you, give you what I got. Um I was thinking about, about David and his temptation to build the ark. I mean, the cart to put the ark on. Because he looked at the uh, the priests and thought, oh my gosh, these guys might not be up to the chore. But um, the, the Jewish tradition is that the ark carried the priests, the priests didn't carry the ark. And I just thought about, I just saw your shoulder going underneath the ark, that in your humility... You have a unique combination of humility and strength. And, uh, you know, you don't always do fanfare and stuff like that. But your humility uh, allows you to be in every possible situation where you're needed. And your shoulder goes under and you're faithful and God sees you and he trusts you to carry the things that are on his heart. And I, find, I felt this random scripture verse, so I'll read it to you and you can figure out what it means. Uh, it's uh, Psalm 45, uh, starting in verse 4. And in your majesty write prosperously because of truth, humility, and righteousness. And your right hand shall teach you awesome things. Your arrows are sharp in the heart of the king's enemies. The people fall, peoples fall under you. And I know that it's, it's talking about the Lord, but I just felt like it just emphasizes that in your humility, there's strength. And God's going to use you and has used you in mighty ways. So uh, it's a privilege to know and love your parents. And uh, it's equally a privilege to know and love you too. So uh, maybe next time we see you, it'll be in Taiwan. Yeah. So bless you guys. Forward. Love you, Moses. Have a Great graduation yeah. celebration. Wish we were there. Graduation and promotion. And send us some new pictures. The only ones we have on our flashing thing in our kitchen is when you were, uh, <laughs> let's see, you're 18 now. You were 12, I think. So yeah, that's pretty good. You can use an updated picture. So. And give your sister a hug for us, too. Yeah. Hi, Abby. Bless you. Bye. Bye.